It is a truth universally acknowledged that every now and again a situation arises that defies explanation. And so it was with the ascension of the Third Street Saints. When the Saints made their presence known to the world in 2006, they were decried for being pretenders to the throne. The people were confused. Were the Saints sociopathic killing machines hell-bent on destruction? Or puckish rogues living a life of mirth and whimsy? The Saints needed clarity of purpose, and so the course was set. More fun, less mercy killing. This simple choice revitalized the Saints, transforming them from a degenerate street gang into beloved pop culture icons. But even then, the Saints were not satisfied. For it's one thing to be revered as a hero, it is another to be a hero. And that, my friends, is where our journey begins. Didn't catch that, boss. Mike is dead. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. I forgot to check the battery because I was busy coordinating an international assassination. Hey, can we go back to the part about this being a setup? It's not a setup. The intel is good. You trust this lady? Ash is one of the good guys. Oleg knows her from the KGB days. Oh, she's tied with the KGB. I feel a lot better. Look, Bert and I worked with her too. She's fine. Oh yeah, I'm sure she's great at putting someone in a fucking body bag. That doesn't mean we should... Showtime. We're three minutes behind schedule. We need to move. You're a real people person, aren't you? I'm sorry, is this a counter-terrorist operation or a Saints flow shoot? I'm Sean. Archer Odekar, follow me. We're here. Didn't expect them to be all business. We know what's at stake. Do you? Look, lady, this motherfucker knows how to get shit done. Don't you worry about me. What's security? My tech guy brought us a ten-minute window. If we move fast, we'll only need to worry about the guards on foot. How many of those are there? Don't know about the numbers inside, but there are about eight marching the perimeter. On my signal, we... Oh, hell. about it, honey. Subtlety is not really our thing. Come on, this way. Base, are you there? What are we walking into? Hold on. Hide. Truck on its way. Wait a minute. Your hammer is... Is that Matt Miller? Kinsey, be nice. But seriously, what the hell? Matt Miller is a brilliant tagger, a venerated agent of MI6, and a key member of our operation. And the fact that he tried to kill us. What's past is past. We are all working together now. Let's focus on the job. As I was saying... Hold that thought, Matt. Guards ahead. Hold position. Let's take him out quietly. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 
Matt, you were saying? The nuke is stashed deep in the compound. It's likely primed and ready to go. Getting booted from the U.S. sent Cyrus Temple off the deep end, but teaming up with terrorists? Seriously? And we're in. Get my back. You should be nearing the missile. Attention, please! Quiet, listen. Say it's you can make it! God, I hate this guy. Uh, don't take it personal. Why would we? I should have killed you in Steelport! Well, maybe take it personal. You ruined Steelport! Ruined America! Monologuing. Our leaders failed America by letting you live! Time to destroy Washington start over! Nothing can stop me now, especially you! Uh -huh. Cyrus has seriously lost. people every mission has its bumps bump you call that a bump you're alive aren't you with me. You two go through that door. On it. Let's see how you can handle yourself, Mr. Celebrity. We'll be on mic. Handle myself? Shit. I can handle myself. You should be really close to the missile silo now. Stay alert. Cyrus is such a burke when it comes to security. the target, but we're looking at a stockpile of explosives and chemicals here. I can't tell what kind. It's explosives and chemicals, lady. What else you need to know? We're here. The target is just ahead. Target's in the next room. Damn it! Let's go! 
You were right. There he is! Quick, get ahead of him! Steal an insolent child! you saint once and for all! You're not leaving here! Best to just give up now! This is a problem. It's not a problem. You alienated part of America. I alienated crazy people. You couldn't resist, could you? Jesus, not you two. This is a problem. I keep trying to explain that, but the president won't listen. Poverty is a problem. Apartheid is a problem. This is just a couple of... Here's the latest approval ball. We lost 20 points. We can get them back. They're at 20 points. I'll admit that's a little lower than anticipated. So you agree you have a problem? Nope, you do. You're the communications director. Fix this. Can you give me 100% employment? No. Will you get mad? Fuck no. Then I'm in trouble. King, can you have this naysayer assassinated? Not when you say it publicly. You're more fun as a gang leader. We have a country to run. Fun isn't part of the equation. Where's a septic truck when you need one? I hope Keith has some good news. I'm 
really not looking forward to this press conference. Listen, we've got enough clout right now for one major bill, not both. What do you want me to push forward? Do you want to be the president who cured cancer or the president who solved world hunger? Cancer had a good run, but it's time to put it down. Good choice. I hope Kinsey's keeping the sharks at bay. Now, you listen here. If you think you can cram your agenda past Congress, you are in for a rude awakening. You hear me? Now, let me tell you a little something about the greatest word in politics. Filibuster. Allow me to retort. Hey, Doris, we still down for tennis and a blowjob? Oleg and I are about to head over to Camp David to watch some Nightblade. Yep. You down? Boom! Yeah, it saved me some popcorn this time. Nice work, Oleg. <sighs> the president's words were taken out of context. Kinsey, what's the right context for, and I quote, I'm the patron saint of America. We should probably look into changing the Pledge of Allegiance to one nation under me. That's a great question. Jane? I think we have a problem. Oh, not you two. How many times do I have Asha to- Asha and Miller are waiting for you in the Oval Office. If MI6 needed something, they would send it up the chain, not fly across an ocean. They said nobody back home believes them. Jesus, what's going on? They think we're about to be attacked by aliens. Yeah, I gotta go. This is serious. You know that Kinsey's been saying the same thing. When did you start taking Kinsey seriously? When the people who helped us save the world said we should. All right. I'll swing by after I... Salvation within the Zin Empire. I'm smarter than all these people. Delightful. Kitty, no! <laughs> Protect the president! I do love your spirit, my dear. I'm Zinyak. Pleasure to meet you. Would you like to join me for a ride? <laughs> here today. We should have a gun every five Real steps. FBI. Every five oh. steps. All hail to me. There you are. Thank God you're all right. You okay? Where's Matt? Upstairs, trying to find out what's happening. What is happening? All our war by the looks of it. I'm meeting up with Matt. I'll be in touch via comm. Be careful. Oh, look at you, Second Amendment solutions. Oh, beautiful, beautiful guns. 
Who's compensating now, huh? <laughs> This way! What the fuck, Keith? Assholes, we got this. I regret nothing. I did this for you. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. I regret nothing. Matt and I are at the south portico. See this. Where are you, asshole? These enemies, identified by some invaders as the Indian Empire, have delivered no ultimate. Hell yeah! They appear to be here solely to conquer the earth. Tell my wife! I had another wife! Take out my cabinet, will you? That would be a fucking hell. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Matt, hold on to me! Asha! Matt! God damn it!
Why do you humans enjoy leaping so much? Get off my lawn, you son of a bitch! Didn't count on me, did you? Well, hello there. Welcome aboard. I'm gonna hang you over the fireplace, you alien fuck! Now, now. Not so fast. Say good night. Wait, what? Ow! Shit! <laughs> Did you really think you could stop me? Shit! Oh, human arrogance. Is there anything more charming? Fuck that! Oh, I'm gonna... Do what exactly? Huh? Bravado me to death? <laughs> I'm going to have fun breaking you. Hey, what? what? Goodness me! What a dream! Gosh, what a glorious day! <laughs> Morning, dear. I made your favorite breakfast. Oh, Mr. King from across the street is going out of town for a few weeks. He was wondering if you could check his mail for him. Oh, and your friend Pierce called. I'm sure he has some crazy new get-rich scheme. Oh, that Pierce. Such a card. And someone named Dex stopped by earlier. I didn't recognize him, so I just sent him away. I think I heard Timmy deliver the paper earlier. Could you fetch it, dear? Sure thing, dear. I did a eye, neighbor. Well, I wonder what's going on in the world today. Meet the fine people of Steelport? Well, <laughs> get in the car. Uh, don't I usually drive? It's your world. Go ahead. Boy, they sure are anxious to meet you. Uh, they? <laughs> well, you do have a Queer sense of humor. Why does this all look so weird? Now, what's that you say? Something's wrong. This is all... Can't wait to get out to the lake this weekend. I hear the fish are really biting. The, the fish are... What, what are you talking about? Don't you worry now. We're almost there. What's going on? Uh, I think there's something wrong with this car. Careful now. Well, here we are. Why don't you glad hand a bit? We got time. Ow, my toe! <laughs> Can I get a picture? Aw, thank you kindly.
Looks like it's time. Your public is waiting. Oh my stars, it's the president! Hi, how are... What the f***? We don't use that kind of language here in Steelport. is going on. Where the f*** am I? I gotta get the f*** out of here. Hello? Hello? Kinsey? Kinsey, where are you? Finally! Listen to me. No time to explain, but you have to break free. Break free? From what? The place you're in isn't real. Whatever it's having you do, you need to stop. I'm driving a car. Okay, good. There's a park nearby. Head there and give me a sec. Brace yourself. Wait, brace for... Oh my god! I need some more time before I can get you out. It'd be really helpful if you could just... You know, just be you. Be Nolan? Okay. The simulation is all about normalcy. Pleasantry, order, all the things you hate. Go forth. Unleash hell. So sad. Wait, was that it? Getting out of here immediately. I need to be close. Keep it up! The simulation is resisting, but just... More. Bigger! Hold on, I'm sending you something. Find the cat fountain. I left you a present. Aw, oh, jeepers. This is peachy. is... Oh, no. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, what? Wait, a what? What's going on? Couldn't leave well enough alone, could you? You had to push and push and push. I hope you've enjoyed your last moments.
one loses to me. I'm impressed. Where the hell are... Ah, oh, fuck me. I should have realized a prison of peace would never hold a sociopath like yourself. I'm more of a puckish rogue. A rose by any other name. Are you trying to kill me or sleep with me? Charming. See, there you go with those mixed messages again. Then allow me to be perfectly clear. I am the architect of your reality. I build what I want. I destroy what I want. And your bravado means Pointless, my friend. There's nowhere to run. You belong to me. Now, on to more pleasant things. I'm going to place you in your new home. Try to run again, and I'll destroy your pitiful planet. Did you ever? Each of you are guilty of crimes against the Zin Empire. But today is your lucky day. Today, you get to be a part of a new work release program. Swear your fealty, and I will empower you to be Wardens of Simulation 31. You will have one purpose. Torment the President of the United States. Beyond that, the world is yours to toy with. Ravage it. Indulge in your basest desire. It makes no difference to me. Just leave the prisoner alive. I want them broken. Not dead. Go now and tear their world asunder. Yeah, I can hear you. How the hell am I hearing you? I, I don't have a phone on me. I just patched myself into your simulation and projected my voice through the audio system. You should be able to hear me from anywhere. And you don't have to yell. Okay, because that's not a little creepy. Kinsey, I'm unarmed here. How about getting me out? I can't do that until I backtrace your signal to your physical body. Until then, you're stuck there. So you might want to go buy a gun. Right. Friendly fire it is. Shit. Where's the nearest store again? Uh, set your GPS from the map in your hub. Hub? It's like a digital information pad. You know, like those mobile devices all the kids have these days. Oh, can I play games on it? <laughs> I don't play games. Can I get porn? No. So you will be able to get me out of here, right? Eventually. I'm still trying to figure out the Zen systems. Basic hacks like hooking into the audio system isn't hard. Trying to disconnect you and find your body, that's a bit more involved. Hey, what about getting me out of this fucking sweater vest? How hard is that? On my list of priorities, that doesn't even make my top 500. If you were wearing this, I'm sure you'd up that priority. If I was wearing that, I'd be asking you to shoot me in the head.
What the hell is that big dome? Hmm, not sure. We'll have to look into that. Zinyak put his people all over the city. From what I can see, a lot's been taken over by the Zin. There's alien technology everywhere. You gotta be enjoying this. Just a little. I think the entire White House was destroyed? I don't know. Maybe. Why? Oh, I was thinking if it was, we could get Altor to rebuild it. I had more defenses, more weapons, a few underground jet hangers. Maybe some air hockey. Are you serious? Hell, maybe a few more stripper poles in the bedrooms. Am I right? <laughs> I am right. More? You already had some stripper poles? I had one installed like the first day I was in office. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> wow. God, I'm... Are we sure buying guns is something I'm allowed to do here? I don't know. Do you remember how to shop for yourself, or did being president make you too good for that? You ugly. I'd still hit it. Uh, hope you got something useful, because the cops are swarming your location. What are they, liberals? Haven't they heard of the Second Amendment? Zinyak's running this place. I don't think the Constitution holds any weight here. Easy! Their billions can't save them! So now what, I just keep my head down until you can pull me out of this place? Not yet. There's a Zim Patrol close to you that'll need to be cleared out before that happens. That is, if the President's up for killing a few more aliens. Why, thank you, Miss Press Secretary. That sounds like a perfect idea. What can I say? I'm good at my job. Well, you're just not good at... Subtle. True. Oh, Brad is taking Hi guys! Looking for me? Just kill them and leave already. Better you than me. <laughs> Hey, time to lay low for a bit. Use my warehouse. It's not far. Warehouse? 
Isn't there a nice hotel around? What's wrong with my inner sanctum? Ah, uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Movie deals in the big house, son. Let them have it. Whoa! Uh, Kinsey? Yeah, all your shit's gone. What? Damn it! Zinyak removed all signs of the Saints from the simulation. That means... There's no more safe houses for us in the city. Great! Fucking great. Right. So, what do we do about that? Hmm. Not sure yet. Though any hope you can give with gathering information on systems in the simulation would be useful. I'll leave any tasks I have for you in the quest section of your hub. Got it. Anything else? Just hang in there. I promise I'll find a way to get you out. Sooner the better.
this city is expensive. Children have been working until 2 a.m. Cars were invented. Thanks, stranger! You'll never let this down! Oh! Ah! Oh! If he borrowed
There seem to be loose bits of code left behind by the simulation for some reason. I've only been able to locate a small amount right now, which I'm having trouble locking onto. Once in the general area of a cluster, I should be able to direct you to its location. Hey, Kinsey, why are you sending me after these things? And where exactly are they? I'm still trying to figure out precisely what they are, but they seem like they'll be useful. There are several near my warehouse. I can't pinpoint their exact locations, but I marked the general areas for you. Um, okay. I learned this hey! from Chuck. Hey! And on to the next. Toot! Watch your proximity meter to see if you're getting closer to the cluster, or farther away. That bridge explosion totally freaks me out. I got one, Kinsey. You sure this thing's safe? Safe. Ish. Just keep getting them. Oh, I love this song. Kenzie, Kenzie, you gotta sing this with me. No, I don't think so. Come on, I'll even let you be the cat. <laughs> Not gonna happen. We come together, cuz. Come on, now your turn. Come on, and you know it. It ain't fiction. Come on, sing it. No. Kenzie, that's an order. Your president. Fuck that. See? See? This is why no one likes you. If he borrows this thing. Complete, but amazing. Oh, I know I'm gonna regret this. How is it amazing? It seems that anything that broke the normal rules of the simulation deposited loose data that can be incorporated into your programming. Holy shit! I actually kind of understand that. Ah. But since the data is so fragmented, it doesn't leave behind a complete subroutine to loop into your code base. Nope, never mind. You're talking gibberish again. Ugh. It's simple. The more clusters you get, the more you can upgrade and alter your abilities. Now we're talking the same language. I thought she said...
these enough? Still missing some key fragments. Get one more and we'll see. So, if these data thingies... Ugh. Clusters. Fine, clusters. If they can be so useful, then why isn't Zinyak sending his people out to collect them? Why would they need them? Give his people a boost or something? I don't know. You're the one who says they're amazing. If Zinyak wants to change the code for his people, he can just... He wrote the simulation! But what about keeping us from... You know what? Never mind. I'm just gonna accept this and move on. Probably better that way. Oh, I never drink the hater. I can't believe Shit, Zinyak destroyed my apartment? Ugh. That place should have been condemned a long time ago. Condemned. Ugh, it's an ugly word. It had character. Be enough. Let's see what I can do here. Check your hub. This feels awesome! Here, let me load up a training program for you to test your powers. What am I supposed to do in here? The code says you can jump long distances and run at super high speeds. How about starting with a small jump? Okay, try focusing on charging your jump. That should get you higher. How the hell am I supposed to jump up that? Try pushing off from the wall each jump. I can climb walls? It'd be more accurate to say you can jump up them repeatedly. Same difference. the buildings apart. Try making that jump. I'm liking this. Okay, now for the big test. Use your super speed to get a running start and leap to that opposite building. Come on, you gotta be joking. Just try it. You ready for this? I think I figured out how this works. Run along the path collecting the power orbs, which should boost your new speed. Every time you hit a checkpoint, you'll be able to stay in the program a bit longer so you can reach the end. Though you probably want to avoid the firewalls along the way. Good luck! Why is all this stuff here, anyway? Don't know, but it seems like when you break through any checkpoints along the race, the district's reality matrix will overload a little. And that means something to me? <sighs> it means the simulation doesn't like it, and we're able to control the area. Sounds simple enough. It did the first time we said it too. You know I love you, kids. Lies.
Why can't they make cars with... Hot spots are protected by shield generators. Getting near them will be tricky, but you'll have to shut down each one before you can take out the main hub, which of course is protected by even more Zin. So, good luck with that. So, what exactly is a hot spot? <laughs> Don't tell me. It's an anus. Basically, a giant workstation. A system like the simulation you're in probably requires constant maintenance, which is what these seem to be for. Is this the only one? Of course not. Jesus, can you look at the size of that thing? <laughs> it always looks bigger in pictures. Focus on the shield generators, otherwise you'll never get to the main console. Guess I just hold these out.
structure. Oh, right, sure, no problem. Let's do this. Yeah! Good luck repairing shit now. Huh. Done. Um, I'm showing some strange readings close to you. Okay, fiery sky and rain. Is that? I don't know, but it is a reading like a normal sin. I think, I think you can integrate your code with it. And that means what? It means once you take him down, get close enough, and I think you can absorb him. Yeah, because I want that inside me. Exit only. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Woo! Now that's a rush! Hey, it worked! Yes, bravo. Perhaps my wardens underestimated you. I won't let them make the same mistake twice. Uh... That can't be good. Screw him, Kinsey. How about setting up one of them training rooms for me? I think I can do that. So, what did I get? Teleportation? Laser vision? Ooh! Bone claws? Huh? <laughs> Snicked. Whoa! Looks like the ability to freeze people and objects with an ice blast. That sounds awesome! Let me load up a few targets from the simulation for you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold your horses. You're gonna put in folks who want to kill me. Don't worry, these are safe programs. You can't die from them. Recording this. This. It looks like data clusters can be hidden inside walls. Use your blast to knock them out. Shit! Hell of an entrance there, guy. I'll see if I can help with that. Okay, you should be able to recover from being knocked back now. Hold on. It looks like Zinyak added a shield to the warden code. I guess he pissed him off. 
think. Tell me how to get around it. You'll need something more powerful than a weapon. So use your superpowers to deactivate the shield for a short time. Then you can shoot him. See? That works pretty well. Though the real thing might be a bit tougher. that'll allow your mind to get out of the simulation and back into your body. Head toward it. Got it. Alright, fill me in, Kinsey. What do we know about the Zen invasion? The good news is they didn't get everybody. Just a whole bunch of people. According to what I've been able to decipher, the simulation is designed to house the best and the brightest specimens from various worlds. The sure thing. Best and brightest from an entire planet? How big is this thing? Big. But they haven't gotten to all of Earth yet. Just the major cities. Last I heard, Oleg was up at Camp David. That area doesn't look like it's been hit yet. So we got people left on Earth. Good to know. Once you're free from the simulation, I can sever your connection to the Zin Matrix. This will allow me to retrieve your body here in the real world without you suffering permanent brain damage. Where am I in the real world? Like, you know, what are they doing to my body? Is it dirty? It's in a safe place. Once you're free, I'll pick you up at the landing platform.
need a better commute. Hey there, sweetheart. Kinsey, the door's locked. Wrong door. Oh, nicely done. Well, that didn't go terrible. Can you quit being a baby and just walk in? Look, lady, we're doing this in my time. Where's Kinsey? Sure as shit ain't Kansas. I swear every time I come home it's all, what'd you bring me? How come I never go on any raids? I got the same problem. I never get to just sit down and relax without being pestered by the missus. Shouldn't have hey, fucked with the president! This is a human! Impressive young man, I'm just to report any and all misplaced from this hand of the victims immediately. You're on your way, Kinsey. Yeah. 
Fuck. I kill enough of you, I'll just build a ladder back to Earth. Come on! I'll kill every last one of you! <coughs> That's all. Can they hear me? Well, hello. I see you're attempting a noble escape. Understandable given your situation, but I urge you to turn back. Take the stick. I'm getting us out of here. Gee, Kinsey, thanks for saving my life. Why, thanks, boss. I love being appreciated. Boss, I'm the president now. When did you turn into such a jerk? Surprise, Kinsey. I've always been an asshole. Thank you. I mean it. You're not wearing pants. This just got weird. A little bit. Can I fly now? Knock yourself out. Keith David before me? Why? Because he's more famous? Fuck this. I uh, passed by him on the way out. Well, how did you get out? Uh, let's just focus on flying, shall we? Ah, you're right. Kenzie, this thing have a radio? Radio signals bounce around space for... Oh yeah, this, this is my jam. This ship, damn it! They're closing us in! Stay on target.
We're not really leaving the others, are we? Hell no. We're taking the fight to Zinyak. We'll need all the help we can get. Kinsey, can you get in touch with Oleg? Yeah, we should be in range. Huh. I always thought Nightblade was just vampire shock. Oh no, my friend. It is the essence of drama. Hey, you need to take that? You know anyone with the 217 area code? Is that St. Louis? Mm. Probably tell Marketer. Oof. Ignore. Voicemail? You want me to leave a message? It's all gone. Well, I'd say this was a productive day. You're a fucking monster. Oh, don't act surprised. I told you this would happen. You killed seven billion people. Whoops. We're done talking. He's not getting away with this. You're goddamn right he's not. Kinsey, can you use this thing to place me back in the simulation? Yeah, I think I should be able to. Do it. Wait, you want to go back in there? You can't kill Zinyak plugged into a computer. I can kill a lot of people with a computer. You? Sure. You need help setting the DVR. If taking over a small part of the simulation led you to me, taking over the whole damn thing has to do something good. You don't even know what will happen. She probably does. The president is right. Whenever the simulation is disrupted, I have a small window to work my way inside the Zen security network. The more it's disrupted, the more time I'll have to map out Zinyak's mothership. I can identify structural weakness, locate where they're keeping our friends. And find Zinyak. Yeah. All right, let's do this. When historians look back on the fall of the Zin Empire, this will be the defining moment. An act that was supposed to demoralize, galvanized. And a course was set that the Saints could never back down from. But even more monumental is this. If the Earth was not destroyed, pragmatism would have won over desperation. And the Saints would never have been reunited with the most dangerous man in all of history. Johnny Gatt. But ever, as always, I'm getting ahead of myself. Like all good stories, the second act begins with a call to action and the building of a robot.